I've always been a big fan of the movie, so I was quite curious to see how it translated into opera. I find the storyline to be quite gripping. It's actually more beautiful than a movie, I would say. Uh, we love it so far. We are not generally into like contemporary operas, but this one is actually very good. I didn't really know what to expect, and I found it to be quite moving, and although the tonality continues to shift, I still found my ear following uh, the music very seamlessly. Enjoying the unconventional opera experience, and the electric guitar is fantastic. <laughs> I love the staging. I think that's really cool to have this design that looks like this this aggressive uh, landscaping in the Scottish Highlands. And I just, it's such a beautiful production and it's so awesome to see it come to life. The staging is quite impressive. The, the lighting of the stage and everything is really impressive. The visuals, especially with trying to mimic the landscape of, of Scotland, it's just, it's phenomenal. On top of the gorgeous singing and the music. This is a really difficult subject matter, but this is something that's part of life. It's just really thrilling to see diverse stories being told and being told by the people who own those stories. So this is my very first time here. <laughs> We're visiting from Toronto. I came up here from Cleveland to see this. I think that Detroit is doing some of the most interesting work in opera in North America. I'm traveling actually to spend, spend a weekend in Detroit and uh, enjoy the, the art scene. And uh, contemporary opera uh, was a very nice cherry on top. It's, it's just magical. I'm sure I'll be back again. <laughs>